Hello guys, so good morning. Uh, it's Friday morning here. So it's almost uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. Then the sun is really, you know, shining. So we have the job here. We have a printer. And this is an Epson um, 3110. So this is next to Epson uh, L120. So this is a very, uh, very, you know, um, uh, uh, the, the, the user really buy this type of printer despite of the issues of the printer because you know uh, in some in some ways uh, because because of mass mass production maybe I think then it has no available printer other printer so that's why This is the printer that they used to purchase in, in that case. Okay, so let's try. Uh, what is the problem of this printer? <coughs> okay. So let's have an output here. Let's create the copy. Let's see what will happen. Okay, so if you can hear the sound, so there is a problem. Then, you know, they, they told me that it is blinking sometimes and the papers does not load. So maybe I think the problem is on uh, the inside of the, uh, of this printer. So maybe, I don't know. But then this time, I, I didn't really encounter that kind of problem. So let's have something to copy with. If you can hear the sound, uh, that is not a uh, good, uh, good indication. There is not a good indication that the printer is running perfectly or correctly. So let's create another copy. Okay. okay, that's the problem. Okay. See that? Can you hear that? Okay, it's now blinking. Uh, paper jump. Blinking from the paper jump because the paper does not load. So that's the problem. Okay. So let's power this off. And we will inspect, uh, you know, inside of the printer so you check it <coughs> so this type of printers has really many issues you know in the first place this is very good but then once that you use it always 24 hours seven days a week so 
that's the problem. Everything will be, you know, it's a very good printer. But then, you know, uh, flex cable problem, paper feeder problem, everything, you know, unlike board problem. So it has many issues that some other technician cannot really fix the problem. Maybe, you know, on the printhead, maybe on the problem with this one is the um, um, the waste ink pad. Um, the waste ink pad is really overflowing so we need to replace it first. Um, where did I put the other waste ink pad? <coughs> because we can able to see that so see so that's the ink really flowing the waste ink pad and see this really really in this bubbly Scotch paper here. I just put it there. Up. Say babao. Tupit ah, ini yung paru kan? Ay, iyo to fit. Iyo to fit. Sa 8 feet yan, divide mo sa 4. Iyo to fit. Iyo, iyo, iyo. So that's my brother asking me. How I work with my selling, yeah. Okay. If you can see this, it's really bad, you know. Really bad, bad, bad. Clean this first. Just 
the, this is really the problem once that the wasting pad um, flow overflowing so it may really create a big problem on the board on the printer everything so everything in the every parts of the printer which may be affected by the waste so that's the problem because it is really overflowing Even on this part, so it has many ink. Even on the board, okay. so that's the problem. You know. <clears throat> so take note. Uh, Thirty hands, thirty words give you the money. So that's my motto here. Um, clean money really comes from the dirty words and dirty hands. <laughs> So it's up to you and are you going to perform a job like this? So I waste a lot of tissue in every printer, but then it was not really charged. <laughs> and it's a part of the job. Even though we can clean this one, but then it's really hard to, you know, to remove those. Those things here. So we have here a brand new waste ink pad, so we will replace it. seen something here. Say so band paper here in this part. Yeah. <clears throat> it's 
to we need water here. So we have a problem inside and I can't show you. But then it's uh paper feed feeder. So I think this is really gonna design. So I think that's it. That you love me.
Let's take a picture first. Okay, so let's put this here. Power on. Psst, psst. Sound like that. Yeah. Okay, so we have now the output here. So the printout is very good, everything is good. So maybe the problem, you know, why it is blinking and just not loading. Um, because uh, the paper feeder is disaligned, you know. So the paper feeder is has a sense sensor uh, for able to sense the band paper. If the band paper is just only one or two or three, so if it's uh, more than two, so the printer uh, will give you an error which is multi-page and or multi-paper or it will be a blink here. Then because it was disaligned, then we used to align it. So maybe how does uh, uh, how does uh, that things happen here? So maybe because you know uh, once that. A paper uh, does not load uh, correctly or does not put into the paper you know uh, paper tray correctly so it will create a paper jam then so the problem on that once that it it is really uh, on the paper jam problem so some other person you always use to remove the band paper from this part from this out, uh, outside part, you know, from this part, so that is not correct. So all you have to do, so if this in here, just like that, then you will just 
moved it, removed it, something like this from this part continuously. So take note that the, the, the printer is not really performing backward printing. So that's why we need to remove the band paper forward. Then remove those if there is a um, missing parts of the band paper, then look for it. So that's uh, you need to do. So that's why we have the band paper, crumpled band paper inside. We, we get this inside of the printer. So that's uh, the indication that it was, yeah. Um, the pro previous problem with this paper jam then and paper jam and paper jam paper jam then so that's why the paper feeder is this line so let me give you an example of the paper feeder <coughs> so this is an example of paper feeder of the um, printer but then if this is not really exactly as what we expect inside of this printer so they are not the same but then i know that this is for epson uh, l360 or to l210 or 220 so it's really the same as uh, the same like this so the paper feeder for this Okay, so I hope you like the video. So, and uh, I hope that um, it will give you an idea how you're going to uh, fix the problem. So, basic problem uh, the problem with this is a big, uh, very uh, basic, so that's why we uh, can easily solve the problem. So, thank you so much and have a nice day.